S.E. Hinton, writer of the novel The Outsiders, responded to a Twitter comment earlier this week asking why the characters Johnny and Dally had to die. Hinton responded, because I'm a cold stone bitch. Stone, stone cold bitch. Okay. Crap. Sorry. <sighs> S.E. Hinton. What are you doing? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to watch you botch it. What are you doing down here anyway? The show doesn't start for another two weeks, even for you. This is a little much. You won't be saying that for long. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. S.E. <clears throat> Hinton, writer of the out, the out, outside. What the hell is up with you today? It pains me to say this, but you never so much as stumble on a word when we're live. Did you let Megan give you another horse tranquilizer? Again? No, and screw you. That only happened twice. I'm capping it at that. Okay, so what is it then? <sighs> okay, look. I'm telling you this in complete confidence. I'm not even supposed to know about it. Okay, just tell me. Fine. You know that listening lunch all the DMP students went to last week? You mean the beats party? I'm sure the faculty would be so happy to know that that's what they're calling it, but yes, the pizza party. Okay, go on. Okay, so after the meeting was adjourned, I hung back to steal the last slice of veggie pizza. Wow, stealing free pizza? Really going for the bad boy vibe this year. Okay, you know, it's really hard to tell a story for a dramatic effect if you're going to keep interrupting me. As I was saying, I hung back, and it was just Anna, Jaden, and a couple of the news kids left in the room. Corporate gathering. Never a good sign. Right, that's what I thought. They didn't even notice me. They looked pretty deep in conversation. So naturally, I hung back a little longer to see what I could hear. Wow, two bold moves in one story? Sorry, keep going. It's not good. Anna, and it seems like she's not the only one, wants to get rid of the entire entertainment programming for TV2 altogether. What, Aaron, that's ridiculous. Is it? Everyone knows the journalism and news kids get all the respect. Not to mention the higher employment rates right out of college. You know how big universities love seeing those pretty statistics on a page. Creative concentrations don't exactly rake in the numbers. Well, be that as it may, Anna Huntsman does not have the power to scrap half of TV2's programming. She's the GM of a student organization. She would need to get permission from the faculty advisor. Can you tell me who the faculty advisor of TV2 is, Alex? You can't, because we don't have one. Haven't for like two semesters now. You would have known that if you had been at the listening lunch. You mean the free yes, pizza party? Yes, yes, the free pizza party. Damn, she really found a loophole in this one, didn't she? Yeah, she really did. And that's why I'm down here two weeks before programming, making sure I bring my A game once the season actually starts. I'm not giving them any more of an incentive to get rid of us. Any more of an incentive? Please, it's no secret that the agenda was on everyone's list last season. Hell, we're lucky we didn't even get canceled halfway through. That's fair. This is bad. It can't be that bad, right? Amanda and Megan would have told us this by now. Oh, they don't know, do they? What? Yeah, what? Solid question. I don't remember a thing. Oh god, what did we get ourselves into now? So, uh, any reason in particular we're meeting in the dark? At three in the morning? On Tuesday. It was the only way we could make sure we were unseen. It really wasn't. We could have met at anyone's house. You know, during normal human hours? Oh, come on, this is much more cinematic. Let's just get down to business, please. Uh, where are Amanda and Megan? That's part of the business. Oh god, what did they do now? Are they in jail again? Wait, jail? 
Get used to it, fresh meat. No jail. That was the first place we checked. Well, so they're missing. Should we call the police? No! We do not have the best record with the Kent police. Did someone check Amanda's liquor cabinets? Still sealed up tight. She hasn't gnawed through the chain this time. I think we all know they can get themselves in some big trouble, even when sober. Which is why we need to find them, and soon they could probably help us with our second piece of business. Which is... <sighs> we don't want to give too much away without having all the facts, but it's serious. Real top secret intel. Need to know basis. Anna Huntsman and her news cronies are trying to botch the entertainment department of TV2. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. She can't do that. Well, here's the thing. Through a series of unideal circumstances, she might have just accumulated the perfect amount of luck to pull that off. Okay, but we still don't know for sure yet if it's possible. Which is why we're going to wait to tell you. But... We need your help to figure out the details. We need to know how far her power really goes. I mean, we volunteer to get some intel. Yeah, we have tons of experience sticking our noses in places they don't belong. Trust me, we do not need a reminder of last season's film festival. Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm new here, but is this how all of the meetings are gonna go? Yeah, yeah. 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 you'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. get used to it. Um, well, you guys have 24 hours to find something out. We'll reconvene tomorrow night. At three in the morning again. So, uh, are we gonna do like a real show this semester? You know, like, like we signed up to do? Like, just normal? Well, there won't be a show if we don't figure this out. The sooner we fix this, the sooner we can go on to making our scheduled, regular, mediocre content. And if, uh, in the meantime, someone could find Amanda and Megan, that'd be great too. Come on, we have to hurry. God, I'm trying. You know I never learned how to tie my shoelaces. What? No, I didn't. No. Okay, you know what? We're going to explore that deeply upsetting layer another time. Just pull it whatever you can grab. God. Why does my memory feel like the time I accidentally roofied myself? <laughs> you mean the time you accidentally roofied both of us? Megan, I swear to God, if that is why we're here. Look, I'm not making any promises. God, if I could just remember anything past the... Past... The finale. The finale. Okay. We went out to the bar after the season finale to blow off some steam after that garbage fire of a semester. Right. Uh, they were having that drink special. Two for one, anything mixed with the expired cranberry juice. God, that explains why my UTI cleared up. Okay, but after that, both of our memories are gone. Great. Right. I'm not surprised. Do you see us when we drink? Okay, I, I feel like I can remember little pieces, but just snippets. Yeah, like not enough to paint a full picture? Me too. Okay, good. That's good. Maybe if we just both put our memories together, we can piece together what happened. Okay. Uh, I remember lights. Moving lights. L like street lights? I, I think I remember the sound of a car engine. Okay, and then, and then something offensive. Something that shouldn't be there but somehow is. Something regarding cultural appropriation. The Indian Stadium! Oh my god, we ended up all the way in Cleveland? Oh god, I think so. <laughs> okay, but... Even we aren't morally jaded enough to drink and drive, so how did we get here? And why? Someone must have been driving us. But who? Oh good, you're awake. It's about time. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. I'm, I'm not playing! She's not, she's really just dumb, I promise. The dumbest! Enough. You pretend to not know me. Maybe this will jog your memory. Got you two last night trying to steal my CX-37 at the party. The party? The party? Wait, CX-37? I don't know what that is, I thought that was weed! I thought it was baby spinach! Me and my men don't take too kindly to other dealers trying to knock off our product. Whoa, 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 whoa. you got it all wrong, man. No, 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 we're not dealers, okay? We're just two college kids who got in a little over her head. You know, we had a little too much to drink, and you know how it goes. <laughs> I am five years sober. Oh, oh, solid. Congratulations. Enough games. I know you two work for us, Navi. He's been trying to pull one over on my operation for years. Not today. Wait, we don't know any Usami. We don't, we don't do any drugs. We just run a live political satire show on a college television. Live TV? Isn't that kind of a dying medium? Yeah, that's I know, what we right? Said. <laughs> Who's Navi? 
with me together. Do best yen. Ya go bos me ya des wega ya do is this. This score with this is ya. So so chilen ya go. What do you think they're saying? I don't know but I live for this drama. Prosto ste la ya ya. So, who wants breakfast? Uh, a little more on the cheekbones. Fabiano, I want these babies razor sharp for the camera. My name is Derek. Hey, Anna? Yes? Uh, we were wondering if we could uh, borrow a copy of the FCC rulebook. Uh, your producer should each have a copy. Get it from them. Well, we would, but Amanda and Megan are kind of... They're... They're pooping. Together? They say the accountability keeps them regular. You know, like the buddy bowel system. I'm not familiar. Uh, well, anyway, we're kind of going for writing a bit right now. We kind of want to keep with the regulation. Fine, so. fine. I should have a copy on my desk. Just bring this back as soon as you're done. I go live in 10 minutes. We will. Thank you. Fabiano, the cheekbones. I don't even work here. What's this? Bingo. Jaden! Hey, buddy! Long time no see! What are you two doing in here? Anna gave us her key. See? And why would she do that? Um, well, you know, we needed her copy of the rule book so, you know, we could keep everything, you know, just keeping it wholesome. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna go now because, you know, we've got filming and stuff to do. Gotta look over the rule book. <laughs> See you later. Oh, I'll be seeing you. Always. I didn't mean that in like a predatory way. What I mean is like, I'm your boss, you know, so I'll be watching you all the time. Not like that. Uh, what I'm trying to say... Hey, and it's waiting for that key card, right? Uh, why don't you guys go get that to her right now, okay? All yeah. Right, Have a good day. Don't tell anybody about that, all right? Okay, bye. Since when does the agenda acknowledge the existence of a rule book? What if we just didn't go back? What are you talking about? You saw how much stress we were under last season. We just ended up in a Russian drug lord's basement with no memory of how we got there. Do you really want to subject yourself to that again? So what, we just run away and drop out of college? That's the solution? Amanda, we're film majors. Our chances of employment are pretty grim either way. That's fair. Yeah. What do you think he's talking about out there? Something we would definitely be murdered for knowing if we knew. Definitely. Is your phone charged yet? No. Yours? Yeah, here we go. Hmm. And of course, the kids are blowing it up. It's like we can't even take an unannounced three-week leave of absence without everyone just freaking out. What are they saying? Well, it's mostly just Aaron. Hey guys, we're getting worried. Call us back soon. Love you. Hey Amanda, don't forget about your 60-day sobriety chip. Hey, if you're with Megan, tell her I forgot to feed her goldfish and he's dead now. Octavius is dead? Wait, Megan. They say if you went peacefully. Well, he starved to death, so I'm leaning toward no, but that doesn't matter right now, okay? There's some serious stuff going down. Must be pretty serious if it overshadows the death of my son. <sighs> oh, it is. Okay, his name is Cassius De Niro, so we know right away he's a bad guy. And rich. Uh, yeah, he's definitely that, and that's where we have ourselves a problem. We looked into him. This guy's been donating to the station for years. He's almost single-handedly kept us afloat since 2012. Wait, this hellhole has donors? This hellhole has money? Well, sort of. Uh, Mr. De Niro is sort of a uh, conditional philanthropist. Meaning? Meaning he only agrees to give us money if every cent of that goes to the news departments of TV2. How does that work? We all share a studio. 
What are they going to do? Just shut the lights off in the middle of our show so the money doesn't come out of Cassius De Niro's pockets? Well, see, that's where the plot thickens. According to the letter on Anna's desk, our generous donor has caught on to this dilemma as well. And the only sure way he can know that his money is going to the right place is to cut the entertainment programming altogether. Wait, what? what? Now, I saw this coming, but I didn't think the movement would have such a strong backbone. I mean, we all know the program's starving for funds, and I think they would do just about anything to keep this revenue coming in. Well, it's not like we've given them much of a reason to fight to keep us either. Exactly. So the question is, what are we going to do about it? We tear down the establishment. We expose those corporate lizards for who they are. Retweet. Let's kill them all. I'm on board with murder. Wait, no. We're not doing that. That's not what's happening. Sounds like we have a plan. No, no, we don't have a plan. We're not murdering anyone on this show. Shot. No wonder Amanda and Megan don't want to come back to this show. Um, speaking of which, has anyone heard from Amanda and Megan yet? No, but honestly, it might be for the best. I've been texting them and keeping them up to date for a while now. So far, no answer. We all know how things tend to uh, spiral when they're in charge, so we're gonna handle this one on our own. Right, and with as little waves as possible. Does that sound good to everybody? We're gonna have a clean season. No more scandals on the agenda. I tried not to. Okay. <laughs> you just ready? said we're ugly. I meant it for me. 